Like and subscribe right now, or you're gonna have terrible luck for the next week. We often encounter coincidences in our everyday life, but we rarely say anything about them because they aren't extraordinary. But some coincidences are so extraordinary, so remarkable, that you wouldn't have believed them. Well, we're going to be going through 10 of the most impossible coincidences right now. Number 10. The Ohio Twins. First, we have a remarkable story out of Ohio. These two identical twins were separated by adoption at three weeks. They were raised by two different families and led different lives. They suddenly rediscovered each other at 39, and boy oh boy, their lives were a startling example of the remarkable coincidences. First off, they were both named James, which was properly weird. Secondly, they both enjoyed math and carpentry, and both hated spelling. Thirdly, they both worked in similar occupations, with one working as a security guard and the second becoming a deputy sheriff. If you thought that would be all, you're wrong. They both married a woman named Linda and both divorced and remarried women named Betty. And yet that's not all. They both have sons and they named their sons roughly the same names. One was named James Allen Lewis and the other was named James Allen Springer. How likely is it that something like that could happen? Twins, separated at birth, ended up living extremely similar lives. But it happened. Despite its probability being extremely close to zero, it happened. Number 9. Edgar Allan Poe and His Time Machine Edgar Allan Poe may sound and look as eccentric as they come, but you'd probably doubt anyone who says he was a soothsayer. But this story may just make you consider whether he had a time machine, because it looks like he may have owned one. Why do we say so? Well, Edgar Allan Poe wrote a book, and nearly half a century later, everything he wrote in the book came to pass. The name of the book was The Narrative of Arthur Gordon Pym of Nantucket, and in the book, a rather unfortunate ship sank. After the ship sank, the three sailors decided to kill and eat the rather unfortunate cabin boy, a boy named Richard Parker. It was a pretty gruesome story, and Edgar Allan Poe claimed it was based on real events, but it wasn't, not really. No such event had happened during Edgar's time. However, it seems the same events would play itself out nearly 50 years later. After a ship named the Mignonette sank halfway between the historic islands of St. Helena and Tristan de Cunha, the four surviving men on the ship were left to starve in a dinghy in the middle of the sea for three weeks. On the dinghy were four men, Edwin Stevens, Tom Dudley, Edmund Brooks, and an illiterate 17-year-old boy, he pretended to be 18, called Richard Parker. After a while starving in the dinghy, Richard drank seawater and became delirious. The remaining men decided to kill and eat Richard for meat, as he would die anyway, and it would be better if he served his meat instead of wasting away. And thus, they killed and ate Richard Parker, just as Edgar Allan Poe had written in his book about a half century before. Number 8. Mark Twain Saw His Death Coming Samuel Clemens, better known as Mark Twain, was a particularly clever man and is regarded as one of the best American writers of any generation. But even the most clever men cannot see the future. At least, that's what everyone thinks. It appears that Mark's words would eventually prove everyone wrong. Twain once wrote this, I came in with Halley's Comet in 1835. It was coming again next year and I expected to go out with it. It will be the greatest disappointment of my life if I don't go out with Halley's Comet. Now you must understand that Halley's Comet is only visible from Earth about once every 75 years. Twain was born shortly after the comet was visible in 1835. And shockingly, he was right. He died of a heart attack just as Halley's Comet was again visible on April 21st, 1910. He was 74 years old. Number 7. The Lady Who Wouldn't Sink Surviving one shipwreck is bad, and rare enough, but surviving two? That's just absolutely insane! But do you know what's even more insane than surviving two shipwrecks? Well, it's surviving three! That's so crazy that you would think it's never happened to anyone, and you, of course, would be very wrong. It happened to a woman named Violent Constance Jessup. Jessup was an Argentine ocean liner stewardess, memoirist, and nurse who survived the sinking of the RMS Titanic in 1912. She survived the sinking of the ship by getting into a lifeboat and was later rescued by another ship the next morning. Four years later, she was on board the HMHS Britannic. The ship later sank in the Agent Sea due to an unexplained explosion, but yet Jessup survived. Strangely, five years earlier, Jessup also survived the collision of a ship she was on with another ship. She's the only known person to survive all three incidents. Number 6. The 
Dutch cyclist who wouldn't die. Escaping one plane crash is crazy enough, but escaping two? That's just stuff of legends. That sounds like a myth, and you'd be right to disregard any claims of it happening. But it did happen, and it's one of the most extraordinary stories you'll ever hear. Martin de Jonga is a Dutch cyclist who managed to escape two major airplane crashes without stepping into the planes. The first crash that de Jonga escaped was the ill-fated missing Malaysia Airlines Flight 370. He was meant to board the flight, but later decided to take a flight that departed an hour earlier. He was also supposed to be on board the Malaysia Airlines Flight 17, the one that was shot down over Ukraine in 2014, before changing to a different flight to save money. We have a feeling that Tatyanka will make it a point of duty to always change flights at the last minute after escaping death twice through that method. Number 5. The Man Who Saw the Titanic Sink We aren't done with coincidences that concern the Titanic. There's still one more that's sure to confuse and make you wonder if there's an invisible hand that orders the world. Fourteen years before the Titanic sank in 1898, Morgan Robertson, a fantasy writer from the US, wrote about a ship sinking in a novella called Futility. Now, this would just be some regular fact, if the novel didn't have a ton of similarities with the Titanic. Now, this isn't to say that Futility was completely the story of the Titanic. However, it's impossible to not see the subtle similarities in the book and the event. For one, the ship that sank in the book was named Titan, which isn't too far from Titanic. Another similarity is that the Titan was described as the largest craft afloat and the greatest of the works of men. This isn't too far from what the Titanic was described as. Like the Titanic, the Titan was described as practically unsinkable. Interestingly, the Titan also sank in the waters of the North Atlantic, just like the Titan before it. Another similarity is this. The Titan carried very few lifeboats, just like the Titanic had. The circumstances leading to the crash are pretty similar too, as the Titan struck an iceberg before sinking. And this book, that describes almost everything of note about the Titanic, was written 14 years before the ship sank. Number 4. The Tale of Two Presidents This has got to be one of the most unlikely things to ever happen, but it happened regardless. Two of America's presidents, named Abraham Lincoln and John F. Kennedy, share a multitude of barely believable coincidences. First, both were killed through a bullet right through the back of the head. Both died on a Friday. Both died before a celebration. Lincoln died before Easter, and Kennedy died before Thanksgiving. Both were accompanied by their wives and another couple. And that's not all. Both had a friend named Billy Graham, and both had four children. Both had secretaries named after one another. Lincoln's secretary was called John, and Kennedy's secretary was called Miss Lincoln. What's more, both their successors were vice presidents called Johnson. Number 3. The Sad History of the Hoover Dam 112 lives were lost as a result of the building of the Hoover Dam, but two of those deaths stand out in the most macabre way possible. The first man to die was a named made George Tierney, a surveyor who drowned in the Colorado River on December 20th, 1922. He was in the water looking for an ideal place for the dam before he drowned. About 100 deaths later, the saddest coincidence ever happened. The last man to die in connection to the dam was George's son, Patrick Tierney, who also died on the same day that George did, December 20th. If fate is real, then she's a cruel mistress for sure. Now it's time for today's best pick. This picture was sent in by a subscriber. If you want to know about a certain picture, you can send it in to us as well. Who knows, your picture may just feature in our next video. Number 2. The Reincarnation of Ferrari? The owner of the Ferrari company is a man named Enzo Ferrari. He was an Italian motor racing driver and entrepreneur, the founder of the Scuderia Ferrari Grand Prix motor racing team, and subsequently of the Ferrari automobile mark. Enzo led a very successful life and is one of the reasons why we have the Ferrari brand today. After living a pretty good life, Enzo died in August 1988. Exactly a month later, Mesut Ozil, a widely successful German footballer, was born. Ordinarily, this wouldn't be such a coincidence, but this picture of Enzo and Mesut side by side shows that there may be something more to this striking coincidence. What do you think? Could Mesut Ozil be the reincarnation of Enzo Ferrari? Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 1. The Warning Inscription on the Tomb of Tamerlane 
On June 20th, 1940, Soviet archaeologists went on a remarkable journey. They went to what is now known as Uzbekistan and uncovered the tome of Tamerlane. Tamerlane was an Asian conqueror who saw himself as the heir to Genghis Khan. He was a Tuko mongol emperor and the founder of the Timurid Empire in Persia and Central Asia, so he was a pretty successful invader. He was an invader so successful that throughout his lifetime, neighboring empires feared that he would invade them and wreak carnage on their lands. Before uncovering his tomb, Soviet archaeologists saw a warning that read thus, Whomsoever opens my tomb will unleash an invader more terrible than I. The archaeologists were clearly not superstitious and decided to open the tomb regardless. Three days after, Hitler launched the greatest land invasion in history, Operation Barbarossa, upon the Soviet Union. Of course, Operation Barbarossa failed, but the prophecy of Tamerlane did come to pass. That's it guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like and subscribe buttons. We have loads of great videos like this one on the channel. Goodbye, and remember to stay safe.